Good evening. The people around Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and the Three Mile Island nuclear plant were told they can sleep in their own homes tonight. There will be no evacuation of the area, though pregnant women and young children are still being advised to stay away. Engineers and scientists are working to solve the problems inside the containment building where the nuclear reactor core is overheated. But while a meltdown is still considered a possibility, officials say there is no imminent danger. The nation and much of the world has been watching as this nuclear nightmare unfolds in this plant on the Susquehanna River. And our report tonight will tell you about the potential dangers at Three Mile Island, how residents of the area are reacting, and what the crisis means for this country's energy policy. Tom Jarrell, who has been covering this story for the past two days, is in Harrisburg tonight. Tom? Tonight, Max, after an extensive technical review of the troublesome situation at the crippled nuclear power plant, the governor of Pennsylvania said he'll issue no evacuation order at this time. Governor Dick Thornburg suggested that the pregnant women and the preschool children who were advised to leave the vicinity of the power plant earlier today should remain away, at least until tomorrow. There is no imminent danger, that's the official advice tonight, but many people aren't buying it. Thousands have packed their luggage and they've left. Banks reports many withdrawals. Telephone lines have been busy. Outdoor activities like the horse races have been canceled. People are afraid of what they can't see, radiation. And they've heard so much contradictory technical jargon from officials that the first casualty of this accident may have been trust. Now reports on today's fast-breaking developments. First, Bettina Gregory. Tonight, the plant looms like a pale ghost, the specter of potential meltdown hanging over this community. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission says the core has been extensively damaged. The experts sent by President Carter says a bubble of radioactive xenon gas inside that reactor is getting bigger. 30 degrees. The question is how fast can the temperature inside the reactor be brought down 30 degrees to cold shutdown? If too much gas builds up inside, it'll push down the water, expose the nuclear fuel rods, then it could happen. What would meltdown mean? The most likely meltdown is, uh, would not result in early fatalities. It would, resort, it would result in exposure to the public that caused latent cancers uh, and uh, land uh, contamination and uh, how far? And a, oh, pro probably uh, resulting in economic losses of a billion dollars how, how or so. Far? But what are the chances of this happening? I think they're very remote. Federal officials insist the danger is not imminent, but the NRC moved in in force today to oversee the cold shutdown, an operation as delicate as walking on eggs. A team of 10 experts from Washington arrived. They set up a command post in a trailer outside the plant. Federal officials say five workers have been contaminated by radiation, but the cleanup will proceed. Jack Sipe was inside the plant when the first burst of radiation escaped this morning. Naturally, he is worried. Well, it's my job. I, uh, I'm nervous, yes. I'm nervous, but I'll go back in. Bettina Gregory, ABC News, Three Mile Island near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This is John Martin. Tonight, many people in Middletown are nervous. More of them moved betting to this sports arena 11 miles from the power plant. Civil defense officials said about 1,200 people in all have left their homes from around the plant to go to shelters. Earlier, some drove to friends' houses in a moment of high anxiety when schools were closed and parents arrived to pick up their children. It's a lot worse than what they're telling us. Typical lies. They had to close all those nuclear power plants down. This is Roji Fansler. Eight years old, handicapped. She rode home from school early today. Her classes dismissed, like hundreds of classes all over this region. Roji ran home down her small side street, just a mile and a half from the power plant. She found her mother, brother, and sister packing family belongings. Some neighbors had already left for New Jersey. A sister was going to West Virginia, and Roji and her dolls were going to a trailer park. But around noon, I started getting worried. And uh, my father worked at the island for five years, and uh, so I, I knew a little bit what was going on, but uh, I'm leaving now. On the road, radio reports painted conflicting pictures about the danger. At the sports arena, where 150 people showed up, the father of a two-and-a-half-year-old girl worried about the confusion. I think this will may not show up now, but what, what 25 years from now, what? or even 10 or 15, if there was an exposure, even you people were risking it. 
Medical officials reassured most residents and said they found no evidence here of any malady resembling radiation sickness. But nobody here was specifically checked for contamination, and one doctor admitted he had no way of telling any patient how much they had risked by living in the shadow of the accident. Tonight, the mood is playful here for children, but apprehensive for their parents. Some families have already left to move to safer areas, while still more arrive here to wait for some new word about their homes and their health. John Martin, ABC News, Hershey, Pennsylvania.